Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss with you about breath analyzer. What is a breath analyzer and how does it work? All these questions will be answered in this video. So what is a breath analyzer? Look at the picture. This is a breath analyzer. So it is a device that is used to estimate back from breath sample. Now what is back? Back is the blood alcohol concentration that is the amount of alcohol that is present in your blood. Now you must be thinking how can blood alcohol concentration can be estimated from breath sample. So let me tell you that whenever you drink alcohol it is it reaches your system it becomes a part of your system it reaches your blood different organs the air inside your body so whenever you exhale out the air it is going to contain tiny alcohol molecules in it so with the help of those molecules we can estimate the blood alcohol concentrations this uh, device was invented by Dr. Robert Borkenstein in the year 1954 and this device uses chemical oxidation and photometry in order to estimate the blood alcohol concentration. So th the procedure is very simple you simply have to blow inside this small pipe as you can see here in the picture that's all you have to do and after that the machine will work itself so to use the breath analyzer the subject exhales through the mouthpiece into a test chamber there's a test chamber inside this device and it contains reddish orange color potassium dichromate crystals let's understand how does the breath analyzer work after you blow inside it so the basic principle is that alcohol is going to react with those potassium dichromate crystals all right so in the breath analyzer the alcohol is going to react with the potassium dichromate solution and it turns green so originally potassium dichromate is reddish orange in color but if you have if you blow into it and if you are breath have alcohol into it then it is going to turn green in color this turning of color into green means that you have had alcohol the degree of color change is directly related to the level of alcohol in the expelled air so the more alcohol you have had the more degree of color change the more greenish color we are going to see that is going to tell us that you have had more amount of alcohol now how can how are we going to detect that there's a color change so for that there's a photo cell this photo cell is going to compare the difference in the color now there's some left out potassium dichromate that has not reacted with your breath that is still in orange color and then there's greenish color that is the outcome of the reaction and so this photo cell is going to difference is going to compare this difference in colors between the reacted mixture in the test chamber and in the reference chamber that is containing the unreacted mixture that is reddish orange in color so the the difference in the color it is going to produce an electric current which is then converted into a quantitative value for back or blood alcohol concentration now this is the chemical re, uh, reaction for that so you have ethanol over here this means that the alcohol this is your breath the breath that is containing the ethanol or ethyl alcohol and then there's potassium dichromate in that pipe of the breath analyzer now what happens is that once you exhale out this potassium dichromate it is going to act as an oxidizing agent and the thing that acts as an oxidizing agent itself gets reduced so potassium dichromate is going to get reduced to chromium sulfate whereas this potassium dichromate has oxidized the ethanol so ethanol become oxidized to acetic acid and there's potassium sulfate and water that we see as byproducts so this potassium dichromate is originally orangish in color 
and after it is reduced it becomes green in color and that is how we get to see the color change here you can see in the picture the ethanol vapor or the ethyl alcohol vapor in your body so that vapor reaches the breath elizer here you can see originally it had orangish color potassium dichromate crystals all over but once you blow inside if your breath has ethanol in it then it is going to react with the potassium dichromate and the ethanol is going to get oxidized to acetic acid we're going to see the reduced potassium dichromate that is green in color over here you can see because this area have reacted with the potassium dichromate so it triggers a chemical reaction with the compound packed inside turning the chemicals from orange to green the more ethanol that is present the greater the amount of green color so if there is more alcohol then maybe this color also becomes green if there's even more alcohol then maybe all of it becomes green all right then other than this there is infrared breath elizers too these are the these are large in size compared to the handy ones that i've talked about they are tabletop breath analyzers and they are found in certain police stations or in some labs now spectrometers they work by identifying the molecules on the way they absorb infrared light so just like that normal the handy ones you need to blow inside like this person is blowing once you blow what happens is that the ethanol is going to reach into this machine now there there is going to be infrared light now the ethanol molecules they are going to absorb the infrared light the wavelength at which the molecules absorb the infrared light is going to tell us what molecule is there in your breath so spectrometers work by identifying molecules based on the way they absorb infrared light the level of alcohol in a sample is signaled out and it is measured and subjects alcohol level can be determined so this was all about breath analyzers i hope you understand the chemistry of breath analyzer what breath analyzer is how does it work so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel share it guys please as much as you can to help me out thank you